today's lesson we are going to look at chemistry basics of chemistry lesson 104 today's topic will be oxy and ions let us start before we can talk about oxy and ions or oxo and ions let us talk about compound in general now we know that the compound consists of two or more elements then elements we simplify them from the periodic table now we have those ionic compounds ionic compounds it's those compounds which have the net charge of either positive or negative for example HSO4 minus this is a ionic compound and then we we'll talk about a general compound or more stable compound it's H2SO4 I believe you can see the difference the oxidation number of this compound is zero where the oxidation number of this is actually negative one or one minus H2O it's a compound not an ionic compound H3O plus this is an ionic compound OH minus it's also an ionic compound I believe you can see the difference NaCl is just a compound not ionic compound as you can see the oxidation number in this case it's zero now when you talk about ionic compound we're talking about compounds like this this we call them ionic compounds now let us move to oxo and ions since now you know the difference between compounds and ionic compounds we need to understand anions remember the weight it's oxy and ions or we can say it's oxo and ions looking at this part remember we have different types of ions we have anions and ions and cations some say it's cations and anions it's anions and cations now the difference between the two the anions are those negative charges cations are those positive charges so in this case looking at this name and ions it means that we are going to focus mainly on those ionic compounds which have negative charges and then looking at the other part of this name it's oxo or oxy this oxy originates from oxygen they originate from oxygen so trying to match these meanings it means that we are going to look at those ionic compounds which consist of oxygen atoms we call them oxy and ions now unfortunately i haven't discovered a actual working trick or a tip or let me say a trick that will actually make you understand this oxy and ions but let us simply go through examples now the first one is bromate this is the ionic formula of bromate now comparing bromate with its precedus and its common compounds we have per bromate per bromate once you understand or master that the molecular formula of bromate is actually BRO3 minus then it will be simple for you to actually know per bromate and we also have another compound which associates with bromate we call it bromide
Let us focus on the last three letters. We have A-T-E and I-T-E. Bromate has three oxygen atoms. Then you should know that bromide it actually has two oxygen atom. And then per bromate we add more oxygens so it means we are going to have BRO4 minus then we have another one which is actually which comes next to bromide we call it hybro bromide I hope you can see we have bromate which has three oxygens we have bromide which has two oxygens and then we have hypobromide which has only one oxygen we have per bromate which has four oxygens this is one of the examples of our oxy or oxo anions let us look at another example we have chlorate chlorate it's a combination of chlorine and oxygen remember that we are dealing with oxy and ions so chlorate will have clo3 minus per chlorate you can actually pause the video and try to write the molecular formula it will be ClO4 minus and then we have chloride we have chloride which is ClO2 minus as you can see ATE actually consists of more oxygen atoms compared to ITE and then when we introduce pair from this it actually has one extra oxygen from the ATE let us look at another example another example is iodate 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 has three oxygen so iodate this is a weight from iodine so we have combination of iodine and oxygen then iodate is io3 minus and then we have iodide actually let me write it this side iodide you can pause the video and try to work this and then we have per iodate per iodate yes try to actually fill in iodide and iodate now for iodide you have two minus per iodate is i O for minus let us look at another example manganate it's the combination of manganese and oxygen so manganate it's M N O 3 minus now I'll put per, ma per manganate this side you will fill it in per manganate and then write manganite pause the video and work out this oxo and ions now per manganate will be M and for minus then this one will be m 
and O2 minus. I hope you can see the trend. We have this following oxo and ions. Can we actually predict or determine their names? Now we can see that N comes from nitrogen. And then this one has more oxygen atoms compared to this one. So we already know that this will end with ITE. This will end with ATE. Now let us try to come up with a name. This will be nitrate. This will be nitrite. Let us look at the two. Can you come up with a name? Pause the video, work out this question, play the video to verify your answer. This one, it's actually phosphate from phosphorus. This one will be phosphite. Now, before we end this lesson video, I want us to actually look at this particular oxo and ions. What happens if from this we introduce hydrogen? And also this one, let us introduce hydrogen. This hydrogen will come with by to this name. Also this one will introduce by so if we have this hydrogen atom here we are going to have biphosphate this one will be biphosphate there is this common name which we call it by carbonate now by carbonate actually carbonate it's co3 it's actually two minus so if you're looking at a bicarbonate we are going to introduce h but we should understand something once we introduce h we should reduce this so if it's two minus it will be h c o 3 minus i actually made a mistake from here please forgive me from here when we introduce this h this will actually reduce so you have h p o 4 2 minus remember that hydrogen comes with positive charge and then it will join this phosphate this one if we take the sum of the two it will be one minus three which will be will give us this answer so we should consider that so also this one when we rectify this it should be h p o three two minus let us go back to bicarbonate this is carbonate and then when we introduce this H it becomes bicarbonate this oxidation number will actually increase remember that if we have a negative number and then it becomes less a negative it's actually increasing not decreasing I hope you understand this one let us look at another example maybe it might be the last example sulfate S O 3 2 minus this is sulfite sulfate it's so 42 minus now when we introduce our h this will result into h s o 3 minus this also as h s o 4 minus this will be by sulfite remember this is sulfite this is sulfate and this will be by sulfate I hope you do understand 
that's it for this lesson video this is wahula sg thank you very much